Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5 for another Survive the Hunt, where I'm going to have to try and survive for 24 hours of GTA 5 time while being hunted by this lot that have all sorts of colourful vehicles and microlights and stuff. Um, yeah, we're going to do our best to try and survive. We're going to set off at 11 o'clock. Uh, now, there are a couple of slight tweaks to the rules that uh, that we've had for this series. First of all, as you can see, we've got a microlight. And they're going to have a second uh, aircraft, sort of a balance tweak, shall we say, to the game. The other change is the rule regarding supercars. Uh, now, I sometimes end up in a supercar uh, around here. Uh, generally speaking, the hunters are not allowed to use supercars or high-end sports cars, but we're going to change this one so that... Hey, nicely shot from the far one. We're going to change this rule a little bit. Uh, whereby the hunters can use supercars and high-end sports cars, but only if I have been caught driving one myself. So this adds a whole new risk versus reward element into the use of a supercar, because yes, it can get away from chases quite easily, it's great for that sort of thing. The problem is, of course, uh, now if I do, the hunters are going to get a lot faster after that chase. So you really don't want to use it unless it's literally the last the last resort, the final resort, if everything's going horrifically wrong. Uh, so this should be an interesting addition. Previously, the only real downside to a supercar is it might get searched a bit more. They do generally get looked at and they do look out of place in some locations, but a lot of the time you'll get away with it. And whereas this is now a big downside to going for that uh, high-end car. So it's made more of a challenge for me. The spawn set here today is garbage. There is nothing good spawning whatsoever. Um, yeah, I mean, it's vans, minivans, gauntlets. I mean, the Muppa is quite good. Honestly, I mean, that's almost like my best bet. So, the, the gauntlet is okay, but it gets spun quite easily. And when being chased by a bunch of cars, well, that's not what I want. Now, now all the supercars are spoilers. These are the supercars and crap. <laughs> Great. That is exactly what I need for this. Supercars and a whole load of garbage. Um, what do we go for here? Oh! Found a pre! That's where that one is. Okay. Ooh, Ooh that's more like it. Okay. Yes, Zion, come here. No, don't go. Zion, 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 Zion. No, 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 no. Come here, Zion. I wanted you. God damn it. It is quite bright red, but I mean, it's better than nothing. Better than most of the crap that's around here. Okay, let's just abandon my car off the road a little bit. I mean, they'll probably still see it, but, you know, that's fine. Let's sort out our clothes to something nondescript, like, I don't know, that. That's good. We'll jump in the Zion. Chuck you out, thank you. Oh, you know what I could do? I could be really sneaky as well. Oh, I like the sneaky plan I have. So, they've only just been released. They're not going to be in to the city yet. So my sneaky little plan. This is a smidge dangerous, actually. I don't know if the aircraft are about. Uh, there it is. Okay, I made a slight wrong turning. Uh, and if I get caught doing this, is I'm going to be in loads of trouble. But my sneaky little plan is, if we go in here and we modify this car, we can be really fast. It might give us a chance, at least in the first chase. Um, yeah, the window's down, which is annoying. Uh, right, engine. Let's just blow all of our money upgrading this. Uh, I can't really do, I can't do any like visual stuff, but I'll whack a massive turbo on it. We're gonna respray the car into something just a bit nondescript, not a bright red machine, and there we go. Okay, grey Zion. Grey modified Zion is the important thing to bear in mind here. Uh, it does have a window down though, which is annoying, but I can't do anything about that one. Uh, do, 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 do. Right, we are good. We are sorted, we are... Out and on our way. So we're going to be much quicker than a normal Zion. Hopefully we can catch them out. Fingers crossed and all that. And it's not a high-end car, so it doesn't change, it doesn't alter what... Um, oh, does it get pinged? Might not because it's been changed, colour changed. Might not get pinged through there. It doesn't get pinged through there. Okay, that's good news for me. Alright, I'm going to roll to a stop. Actually, not too bad of a start. We've been quite efficient, we've got a good car. As good a car as we're going to get from this garbage setup. We're somewhere miles away from anything useful, actually. Um, I guess we're going to head a little bit towards the Chinese Monument area. That's got one pre. We can go blow up. We can blow that one up. There's one down by the beach we could go and grab. 
but the beach one ugh, beach one's risky it's right down the very end road and it's down a dead end road basically oh hello green machine <laughs> you crashed into something <laughs> <laughs> Just mind about a business and a lime green uh, gauntlet comes crashing into shot. Of course there is. Of course there is a lime green gauntlet coming crashing into shot through there. And it's fine. Uh, yeah, if we go around the movie studio... Oh, I think I just saw the micro light go behind the buildings. If we're going to go sort of around the movie studio, pop out the other side, and then we'll head off towards that little monument bit. I think, what's it like? Is it the Wee Wang Square or something like that? I can't remember the exact name of it. Uh, I believe, I believe, because we couldn't, we we've used it so much as a, a, a landmark for this stuff when no one knew what it was called. Somebody looked it up, and I think that it was something like that. But now I don't remember it exactly. But you know what I mean. Where where we're headed here? So you know, there's that. Uh, and there might be a slightly more direct route to it. I'm doing this to try and give the hunters time to spread out a little bit. I want them to be more spread out so that when we do blow this thing up... Uh, actually, rather than go straight down to there, why don't we take a left here? That would be a good idea. Because uh, I think that takes us... It takes us a more, slightly more direct route. I believe it does, actually. Um, but yeah, I want the hunters to be a bit more spread out. I don't want them all clustered together, having been recently released, and then all manage to come over there in one big swarm. That's the terrifying thing, where you have to deal with the big swarm of hunters. Uh, it's never fun. Thank you. How very polite of the <laughs> AI cars. It was very polite of them. That's a hunter with a bright pink standing out. I'm in the wrong lane, but I don't want to change lane at this moment in time. So we're going to have to stay around here. God damn it. Okay, we'd have to go slightly the wrong way. That's fine. Yeah, I just want to change lane. The, the thing with the changing of the lanes is surely AI cars change lane, but I probably won't do it as smoothly as they will. And if, if there's a car directly behind me, it's a risk. You know, do I want to take that added risk? That is the real question here. Ooh, and the other thing I want to do is probably get on the phone to Lester, say, excuse me, could you tell the police to ignore any potential explosions in the next few minutes? Call. All the black stolen and Zion that's driving, well or grey stolen good. Zion that's driving around. If you could do all of that for me, that would be wonderful. Good work, Lester. Uh, <laughs> the corner's doing, the corner's driving more wonky than I am. Uh, right, okay, I spot... Our target. How the hell do I drive up there from this direction? Can I drive up there from this direction? I don't actually know. Um, it looks like a gauntlet is... It looks like they've pissed off an AI gauntlet. But it is an AI gauntlet. <laughs> it's just battering a random AI car because it fled. <laughs> I guess they freaked the AI car out. It ran away, which then they chased it more. And then it got more angry about all of that. Uh, how do I go? Is there a way to make that turn legit? Or am I just gonna have to do it iffy? I'm gonna have to do it iffy U-turn, aren't I? Uh, crap! I don't really want to have to go around further than I already am. Uh, that was a terrible sticky bomb as well. Okay, well that one there is on the car. We're in a red light. However, it doesn't matter because I can take the right on a red. Still got a minute to go. Okay, we've got to blow the car. So I can't simply drive across the other side of the city. Uh, I have to be within a sensible range. There is a limit to the sticky bombs, but also for the sake of... Well, the purpose of them is, is that it gives the hunters a little bit of a window as to where I am. And if I've gone to the other side of the city when I blow up their car, kind of defeats the object of that uh, of that part. I mean, we've got a good gap. I could maybe have run this red light, to be honest with you. Um, there goes... I mean, we've already seen those two about pink... Stanier and the news van I have a horrible feeling they may have no they're just searching cars around there the issue is is that my window is down I don't know at what point my window went down maybe when I stole it it's a little bit funny but yeah the window has gone down in my car uh, now there is a the van is following me the issue is does the van know about the rules for so I'm allowed to do that technically speaking does the van know I'm allowed to do that? Well, it's not followed me here. Oh, and I'm going to run that red light because I can just make some distance to the van. If there is... Oh, though I haven't actually really got very far. That's the only issue with the route that I have taken here. Um, we haven't really got all that far. Uh, oh, okay. I think that's a terrible turning by me. I didn't actually know where the corner... I don't quite know where the bit that I could take was there. So we took a wonky line. <laughs> Oh, that was horrible. I think we've got clear. I think we've got clear. Now, 
If I hadn't modified this, I'd be half tempted to go, right, let's go get something different. Fact is, there's not A, there's no good vehicles around. Oh, crap, that lane's only turning left. There's no other good vehicles around. It's a gauntlet, which I don't know if I want. Although, like a stock gauntlet's never going to have a, a match for this. Um, Mupavus again, unless they're modified, not great. I think I'm going to end up keeping this car until it's burnt. I, I don't see an advantage in changing. It might be slightly more likely to be burnt if I keep driving around in this, if it, there's, you know, they keep seeing a grey Zion near something exploding, especially if not many are spawning out this way. Probably not. And grab a bike if needs must. That's very well. You don't really blend with a bike, but if needs must, if there's an opportunity, a bike is a great way to get away. It's very dangerous and you run the risk of getting knocked off it, of course. Um, but, yeah, as, a, as an emergency backup plan, that could work. Um, I believe it's green all the way. There is a pre somewhere around here as well. What is it? I think it's by the petrol station? By the looks of the map. So if we keep heading in this direction, I can add that one to the list. We can knock another one off fairly quickly. It's not down there. Nope. Uh, and I believe that... Yeah, I believe it's the next turning. The blind eye won't be available, but I can just immediately call Lester and have... Remove the wanted level and try and get out of there quickly. I mean... It's going to be slightly dicey, but could work. Could work there. Oh, is that a player in a truck? Or is that just a truck driving around like a lunatic? Uh, oh, I see the car. Okay, well, I mean... I guess we'll just go and drive by Sticky Bomb and just follow this group of cars. Yeah, I can't call... I don't have the cops turn a blind eye yet. Thankfully, I have those... I have, you know, two different abilities that'll do similar things I can not have to deal with police is there any sign what is going on with the traffic around here it's chaos if anything though it looks like it's more it look okay the good news is it looks like it's the buccaneer that they're freaking out over not me so if a hunter does see us they're going to be looking at the buccaneer and not the zion at least that is something uh what has gone on there they've just pushed a buccaneer off the road what has happened? Why has that happened? I'm really unsure about what's just happened there. Um, but there we go. Well, what I am sure about is we're going to sticky bomb that car. And the unfortunate thing for them is I can go up onto the motorway now. And we can get up here. Yeah, you, the, the car next to a motorway slip road is good news for us. Um... Is that a freaked out AI or is that a... I think that's just a freaked out AI. Is that AI that's angry at me? I don't know what's going on with that car. That doesn't seem like a hunter. His behaviour is way too erratic to be that. Um, what the hell? Oh, maybe it was a hunter. Oh, I've pressed B too many times. We've got a van following us anyway. That's not great. Was that a hunter? Or was that... I don't... I can't decide. Oh! Airborne. No brakes. I cannot decide if that was a hunter car or an AI that was aggro. I think it's an aggroed AI, but I just... I couldn't do anything about it. That's really weird. I've never dealt with that before. Uh, right. Oh! Christ, thank you. Random gauntlet. Oh, really? No, it was a hunter car. They were just in the right place at the right time. That's really weird behaviour. It's a really weird way of trying to deal with that. <laughs> I just assumed the way it was going that it was a uh, one of those aggro AIs that you occasionally get. Hmm, okay. Well, fair play. Fair play. Uh, we've got to do some work now. Uh, Zion, you're going to have to earn your turbos, I think, in this. It's going to need them, by the looks of it. Oh, brakes. Get down. All right, okay. this is actually good for us. There's a lot of cover here. We've pulled a pretty nice, tasty gap at the moment. Unfortunately, where we're going to pop out here is not good for shaking the blimp or microlite that are around. The microlite has an additional ability, of course, in this. It's got this big old, like, flare trail it can use. As you can see up there, <laughs> they're using to good effect. It's easier to navigate. Uh, whoop. Nope. That didn't, that was, had too little time to try and figure that one out. Um, we'll blow it up. It'd be funny if it blew something up with it, but uh, it was worth a gamble, I guess. I just needed to have been much more prepared. As he's spamming through buttons. Yeah, it's a silly crash, actually, for me. Jeez, whatever that is behind me has got some speed to it. Oh, big air time again. 
intruder. He's not too not too shabby anyway on the odd speed front. Oh, there was just about a gap to fit this car through. Um, what the hell am I going to do? I've got to get rid of that intruder. So we can potentially drive through there. Oh, God, I hate those signs. They just screw your car up. I didn't want to go through there too fast because it's really easy to like, tumble, flip, and lose control of your vehicle on the landing, uh, which we didn't do. Unfortunately, the car behind was also relatively sensible in its uh, endeavours. It didn't also do anything too crazy there. The blimp is back there. I mean, the blimp is up in the sky. It's doing its thing. It's out of really visual range for me. Um, they did see me drive in here which is a little bit of a pain, but can't really do much about that. I really wanted to duck down where that um, book came out of, but <laughs> it's just like the gamble like that is so big. If you get that wrong, you're in a dead end and there's no getting out. I already got incredibly lucky because no one really wanted to get out of their car to shoot me at that point because if they did and I got going again, they just lose the chase. So everyone was a little bit nervous about jumping out of the car. There's so many times I sort of get pinged free from these that it's really difficult for them uh, to... God, careful. Uh, yeah, it's difficult for them to shoot, so they tend to stay in the car just that little bit longer, a little fraction longer, and I, I got lucky in that one. that uh, They did choose to stay in the cars for as long as they did. Um, have I got anyone following me? The truth is I don't know at this point. I have no idea if there is anybody following me at all here. That's why I've gone up this part. That would be a good place to try and like take stock of where stuff is. If anything, follow it. Like, no pass through traffic is likely to be over here really I mean I know where that car is if I need it I mean okay sadly the car is burnt it did, it did good it did good I'm not quite sure who saw what but sadly the car oh, is a great idea Will they? Ah, oh, yes. Thank you, random AI. You know what? I'm coming for a jog with you, all right? If we, we jog a little faster. Dude, could you slow down? Not full sprint. Dude, not a full sprint. Not a full sprint. We're just going to fight. You know what? We're going to do laps. We are going to be an athlete, yes. We will forget the normal uh, things that we have to do here. I'm totally staying in lane. I'm not... I'm not very much there. I think I would be disqualified. I think, like, 800 metres you have to stay in lane? I can't remember. You know what, this is the sort of content you should expect from my channel. Uh, <laughs> it's actually quite clever blending in. You're never going to expect it. Not that I don't think anybody's over here looking for me anyway. Still, I like it. It's fun. Is there a blimp about? Could I rocket the blimp from here? Where is said blimp? I, I, mean, I just realised I'm in sandals. Yeah, you know what, that's definitely the right athletic gear at this point in time. We want to be in sandals for running around a track. Where is Blimpus? Could I have a rocket towards Blimpus? It would be nice if I could. There's a car park of vehicles over there, not that there's anything exciting. There were cars down this road, I guess we can walk down this one until we find something good. It's gonna be a bloody gauntlet. No, Zion. Another Zion. Not modified though. Oh, I missed my turbo. Goodbye, Turbo Zion. You have been good to me, but... Uh, stop in the name of help! Oh crap. Oh, bugger me. Is that their van? Ah, oh, damn it, it didn't lock on in time. Crap, I thought I could be clever. <laughs> I had a cunning idea. Uh, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Didn't realise there were security guards around here. That's given me more trouble than I would have liked. Where's my turbo gone? Zion Turbo, I need you again. I did a goof. I did a goof. Yeah, we're going to get killed by bloody police at this rate. We have never died to police in a Survive the Hunt. At the rate we're going, this might be a first. Uh, super heavy armour, please. Yes, that's much needed. I'm going to climb up here now. Uh, <laughs> this is not the best escape I've ever done. It really isn't. Uh, Lester, my good friend. My good friend Lester. Ooh, they're not here, cops! That random RPG was a dumb idea. I was trying to, I think I was going for a little bit hey, more aggression up? in this one, uh, but it was not a good idea, oh, hey. was it? You're in trouble. Mm, okay. okay, I mean, this I'll is a golden opportunity here. If ever I saw an opportunity to remove the beer limp from play, oh, it's actually just, oh, has it gone too far away? No! Oh, 
No, come on, game. Don't deny me this opportunity. wonder whose car that is. Okay, well... I can go for that. <laughs> is it going to work? Please. Ah, oh, it's too far away. It's way too far away. It was glorious and everything. That might actually give them some trouble. I don't know if it's going to get it. I don't think it is. I think we've we've done this stupidly, really. Um, we've kind of crashed our car. Uh, I thought one of those would hit. I really did think one of those was going to hit. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't. Oh, where the hell am I? I don't actually know. Still up, up. We're still in the hills, really. The micro light is on us. The blimp will have seen us by now. Thankfully, I've still got the turbo. <laughs> the Zion turbo is here. And the Zion turbo shall hopefully be rapid. Uh, right. New plan. Abandon all hope of being stealthy. Go shooting past a player in a bus. Whoa! That's that's that green gauntlet. Hello, green gauntlet. There's a lot of cars around me now. The rockets. It turns out I'm not good with a rocket launcher. It turns out I shouldn't be given a rocket launcher, and ambition got the better. That is, the, I mean, that actually really does prove the dangers of the trying to remove the blimp. Okay, yeah, I will admit we were a bit long range for that one, but you know, if you miss, you're in huge, huge trouble, and that just, that, that exemplifies it. That shows very well why you have to pick and choose your moments for a good bit of uh, rocketing because if it goes wrong that now i get away with that this time around because i have a very quick car or relatively quick car i believe there's a pre around here from what i saw on the map earlier uh yoink that'll do uh we'll take that one while we are here it's not actually notifying us that vehicles are being blown up and I, so i don't know whether they're actually knowing when i've blown up cars they may do, they may not do. Uh, the car did see us go up here. That's annoying. Can't do anything about it. Um, yeah, crap. If I, uh, I should be a bit quicker through there. It has just disappeared from sight momentarily. Oh, it's had a crash. It didn't. Know, maybe it didn't know where I went. Uh, we're just going to run down this bit. Lester, can you remove the cops again? I don't actually know if you can. I might have to... This might now be the time where we lose the turbo. The poor Zion turbo. You've done well, my friend. You have done gloriously well for fail race kind. Oh, Lester, can we? Oh, well, call me back crap! Oh, yeah. wait, camera. Works. I think we lost them. Why have you done that? Why have you come to a complete stop on the motorway, you plank? That's not helping anybody. Most definitely not me. Gee, right, okay. Plan. Du, 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 du. My pervert. You're literally all I got. Oh, I hadn't lost it. They, they, they hadn't lost it. I thought it crashed. Uh, <laughs> No, uh, it's yeah. So they didn't want to get into the fight with me because I mean I got one v one. They get destroyed. They get absolutely decimated into one v one. So they've turned around. They've tried to stay out of the way so they don't get shot to pieces by me. But in doing so, they've lost track of me. And can I sneak my way out of here? No, they saw where I went. That's annoying. Uh, there is a vehicle somewhere over this way. Actually, there's a vehicle up in Mirror Park. I noticed. Uh, so if we do this, I mean I don't really want to go blow it. I don't want to stay in a chase. But oh, hello. Yeah, I don't really want to stay in a chase for longer than I have to, but... And that's the classic, is that, again, we're doing all the classic stuff here. Uh, the, the reason why you don't swap cars too soon. That one. You know, you never know when you're far enough away. I've just seen a gauntlet shoot that way. They think I'm going for the car. Okay, well, we're going to change plans. It was, well, was. They were right. I was going for the car, but we're now going to change plans and run in a different direction here. Uh, the blimp is still around. Can it... Ooh, I wasn't clear of that. I can say, can it match my straight line speed? We, there are two ways to, to lose the blimp. Just sheer straight line speed. Sheer brute force. Uh, that does work. You can... There uh, are three ways. The blimp is, is quick, but it's not unbeatable quick. Uh, oh, where are you going? I don't know. Uh, okay, fine. We're going to do the other method of losing the blimp. Do lots of U-turns and the blimp can't turn. It just doesn't change direction very well. It struggles with this sort of stuff. So, yeah, if I do lots and lots of little changes of direction, it's going to have a bad time. We have a really tough time following that. And... Oh, we have the bin incident again. No, I can't go and hide in the bin. They will look in the bin if I try that one again. Uh, but yeah, lots of, like, turning around quickly and the blimp just can't change direction. Unfortunately for me, this time it looks like it is doing a pretty good job of following. That is annoying. But what can we do in this other than just keep foot down at the moment? 
and hope we go out of render distance soon. There's a car actually by the stadium that we could go for. We buy it. Uh, I mean, it does put us at slight risk having to traverse across in front of the stadium. They might be expecting this, of course. Uh, never want to do what they expect because, well, they get more cars around that area. Um, yeah, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is there a car around here somewhere? I hope. Yes, there is. Uh, yoink on the back of that one. <laughs> Now we're just going for a full speed blast around the city, detonating sticky bombs and panicking, calling Lester. Dude! Help is required! <laughs> the Turbo Beast is doing good, but it is. What service are you looking um, for? There are limitations to the Turbo Beast's goodness. We are starting to get close to them. Oh! No saw the gauntlet! I mean, we're, we're a blacked out car in the middle of the night. It is difficult to see and difficult to follow. I really have got to swap my car at some point. I can't keep running indefinitely in this one. It is busted. Not too badly, but it is broken. If we can keep going in this direction, I think we're on for a winner. I don't know if that green car... It might not have, it might have seen us, but not had time to turn around and not seen where we went. Uh, I'm just making the most of my advantage here. I know I have a chance of running into more hunters, but I don't have another choice in the matter at the moment. Uh, can we get to somewhere better hidden than this at the moment. We're going to blast past Michael's house. I don't know if the blimp can still see us at this point. Oh! Oh, Christ. Oh, <laughs> such a huge wobble through there. Uh, right, we learnt don't piss around at the university... I think it's the university campus area. Don't piss around there. You get in trouble. Uh, maybe the hill... I haven't actually been to the hills for a while and I know how difficult it is to follow cars through here. So, maybe this is the way to go today. Ugh. <sighs> This Zion has done us proud. That's not the way to go. We just looped ourselves around in a circle. That's not helpful. Um, does it know where we are? Does the, I mean, I saw the blimp. It, think, it definitely think it knows we've gone this direction. Just does it know whereabouts in this direction we've headed? It's so difficult to follow a car through here, though. It might not. It might... Oh, that's a dead end. I don't think it does. By the looks of it, it doesn't anyway. Uh, that was the road I was actually looking for. Oh, I need cars that are good, but not cars that are supercars, really. I don't want to go for the supercar, but I will if I have to. Uh, what are you? Mapava? Any of these garage doors open? I could do with a garage that's a bit better off the road, really. There is another idea, you know. Because of this spawn set. Right, here is a cunning plan. I mean, it is a good plan, this. It could fail. I've got to really keep my wits about me, though, if we're going to go for this. Uh, so, my plan is... We go... Excuse me, mechanic. Do you remember that Mupova from a couple of Survive the Hunts ago that we modified the crap out of? Because I have so little good stuff around here. What garage is it in? Not that one. Uh, well, actually, is it called Radius? That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> so, I so you call it the of a, I don't actually know the proper name for the vehicle. There it is. Radius. Could I'll you deliver that to me? Aye, I'll get back to work. I mean, if you could, that'd be wonderful. Oh, now, my hope is it's going to spawn on the road and I can look and I can find it. I mean, it's slightly more difficult to see, uh, of course, when I don't have a map on in any way, shape, or form. But, ah, oh, there it is. Okay. There is the wonderful people carrier. Come here, you beautiful car. Now this, if you haven't seen uh, Survive the Hunt, whichever the kidnapping episode was, this looks like a normal people carrier. But it isn't. This is maxed out. It is very quick. So we're going for upgraded cars in this one. Sneaky, yes. It kind of skirts around the rules that we <laughs> we imposed to start. But we kind of... This is such a bad spawn set of vehicles. I kind of had to get a little bit creative. And plus the turbo... Well, it got us away. It also, we also got myself in a lot of trouble. I think I've made up for it by being stupid. Um, basically, with being dumb. And... Therefore... Uh, yeah, our use of modified cars is kind of being used to counteract our dumbness in this one. Where the hell am I? And where the hell am I going to find the next pre? We've not done too badly on pre's, mind you, uh, despite all of the goings on. I think we're on four at the moment. You lose track. It's so frantic. I should probably have changed clothes. Not that they really saw my character, seeing as everything's been done in a car uh, for this. Oh, something shot past. 
with no lights. Standing here, maybe? Uh, what do we got? Just having a quick look at the map. There are vehicles around this part of the map, this, sort of this top part of the map. I don't quite know whereabouts some of them are. Um, oh, Super Diamond Tower. There's one down by the beach. We got the one by the stadium. We got the one by the uh, strip club. Sorry, not the petrol station. Um, oh, Christ. Um, there's one up by Mirror Park we could aim for. I feel like that might be the way to go. I feel like I don't want to lead too much to this area now. I feel like I've got to try and drag them somewhere else. The chase has kind of been around this part of the map for a while and that likely means it's going to be crowded up here. Not guarantee, you know, they might spread out trying to figure out where I am and everything, but uh, is that the micro light? The flashing lights by the building? Yes, it, it looks like it's... No, no, it's a random helicopter. Ignore me. It is, it's a helicopter light, so I just I thought it was a micro light light, so it's not. Um, that banshee's at a really weird angle. It looked like it was about to go drift to the corner. It didn't. Huh. Who knows? Um, we have been... I want to go straight on. Why are you crashing into the back of me? Oh, hello, gauntlets. Thank you for not paying any attention to me. Through there, that is much appreciated. Um, we got some damage on this. I can't swap cars. I don't want to, I don't want to burn this car. It's modified. I'm going to have to hope. It's night. They're not going to likely to notice it. Um, fingers crossed. <laughs> That's kind of what i got to go for in this. It is... There's so so few other options. I mean, the, there is one other option that I've not really considered. I don't really like considering it. And that is the dump truck that you see. The big trucks. So they do spawn more in this set. And... Are they likely to ever be looked at? No, they're not. They never expect me to go in them. They know I don't particularly like them. There is a good reason why I'm not going to go in them. And that is if there is a chase... Oh, for God's sake, I want to go straight on. I know you can turn that way on a red light, but I don't want to go that way on a red light. I want to go straight on. <laughs> Bloody AI. I just want to go down towards the casino, okay? Is this too much to ask? Is this too... You know what? Maybe it is. Maybe this is just way too much to ask. Maybe I'll park over this side, it'll stop them. And nobody knows. Um, but yeah, trucks. I thought that was a bike for a second. No, no, it's just a hunter driving around. Is that the intruder that's followed us for a fair bit? Yes, it is. Uh, always look at. But if they do, for whatever reason, get spotted, if they do uh, get investigated even, it's a death sentence because you're never going to get away. The only way you might do it, well, there's two ways you might do it. The most likely way is survive long enough to ditch it in a river. I've tried the ditch into the ocean and it almost worked in the past. That's probably your best bet at surviving with a truck. The other one you could maybe pull off, but it'd be so risky, is if you were driving along and you managed to kind of like handbrake, turn it and wedge it across an alleyway, bail and run down said alleyway. That's, I mean, you could do it in some places, but, you know, contextually you've got to have that spot on. You know, you've got to have done that, parked that perfectly. Um, oh god, there's the Emperor around. Why did- I mean, I was- uh, you even wanted to go straight on, you- Hmm. Yeah, well, I don't want that lane, because I don't want to go that way. I want to head towards the casino, head around the back, and go up towards Mirror Park. I don't think we're going to be on for a record episode, if, even if we can get the Mirror Park one. Um, I don't think we're going to be on for a record episode quite, but it would be a nice, you know, extra- extra little explosion for this one. They're not doing too bad. I can't remember what time we set off at. What time did we set off at? <laughs> I can see the time on the audacity. So much has gone on in this that my brain's short term. I can see the time on audacity. It's about 48 minutes I need to survive. So if we get close to 48 minute mark on audacity recording, whatever the whatever the round number was. Oh, Gauntlet almost had a spin. I saw that. You didn't have a spin. So, I mean, I guess well done for saving it. But we almost caught you having a spin on your own. Would have been funny. Sadly didn't. But there we go. Right. I want to go this way. I'm in a hurry. Oh, what the hell is going on with the Mubava? Sure. Drunken people carrier. Uh, uh, you know, we're just going to sit and wait. That's fine. We'll just bide our time at a set of lights. I'm sure nothing can go wrong with this. Wait, is this the turn I want? Nope, this is on the slightly lower part. Not the turn I want. I should have gone the other way. Oh, for God's sake. How did I forget where the bloody casino was? It'll still get us there, I think. Can get us there. I've got to take a slight bit of a loopy way around now because I'm an idiot. Uh, unless I want to try and do a UE 
Uh, but if we get seen, we'll be in trouble. And as we've... yeah. It's not worth it, basically. It's just not worth it. There's nothing else out this way. Really. Unless I want to try to go find those cars that were along... Oh, that main uh, road towards the shopping centre. Maybe we go to do that. Mm, okay. Well, we're heading this way now. It has been decided that we are heading this way. Well, I guess we're heading towards the one that's on the way to the shopping centre. Lester! <laughs> Your services, they are required. Could you please come and give me some assistance while we go and blow up a pre- Oh, I didn't actually press A. That helps if you press buttons that do things. Um, hey Lester, there. please pick up. I know it's 4.30 in the morning, but okay. your assistance is really required here. Um, well, I smashed the window of my own bloody car like an idiot, but that'll- maybe one of them will work. That one, there will work. Oh dear. Okay, well, I mean, <laughs> there was a car looking the right direction. <laughs> That's why I didn't really want to go there. There's, just, there's so many, too many vehicles, somebody might spot something. Well, I'm just going to put my foot down. We've got the bloody intruder behind us again. All right, intruder, let's see what you got against the modified Mapuva. Uh, we have got all-wheel drive this time. That's something. Oh, apparently Emperor is stronger than Mapuva, even turbocharged Mapuva. Uh, all right, I'm going this way. Let's try and make that call. I'll try to make that call difficult for the intruder. I want to make sure that it can't... Oh, that was a good hit, actually. We're going to stick it in reverse. At the moment, this is currently the point of if we can keep moving, they're going to have a tough time. Okay, this is bad for us. Really bad for us. Hope that that drives into its friends. Uh, please be destructible. If you're not, we're screwed. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that was a gamble. That was a gamble. Sometimes those fences are not as destructible as you want them to be. And uh, thankfully that one was. We've got out of there. I dare even look behind. Oh! Land it! You've carried me along. You've actually scooped the car and you have carried it. Uh, reverse is going to be better than forward gear, I think, here. Uh, J-turn. Forward gear. Go, 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 go. Push. You've got... You're a powerful, powerful Mupava. You should be good at this sort of stuff. Okay, well, this is dangerous now. This is not where I want to be. Um, ways out of here are now limited. Ways out of here are really bloody limited. Oh, we might be able to climb. Well, this is going to be uh, interesting. If we can get out of here quickly. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, nearly got over the wall. If we could have got out the other side and landed that. Uh, they would have been in so much trouble having to try and run down the road after me. We landed, but I think it's just too many bullets in the end. Yeah. Ah. Oh, God damn it. If, uh, maybe, I mean, if I could have gone left or right or whatever, go under that uh, underpass there. We could have maybe done something. Could have maybe had something work. But uh, in the end, not quite. In, in the end, not quite on that one. It was just there was an emperor in the right place to roll us over and I couldn't get it righted. And there were so many vehicles around by that time. Um... That, yeah, it was always going to be difficult. Boop! Goes the blimp. <laughs> and now it'll rain confetti down there. Look at that. Glorious sight. Ah. It was it was kind of close, actually, that one. Um, we tried a little bit more risky with some of the manoeuvres. It didn't quite work. The turbo cars kind of did work. Uh, we were a bit bogged. I, like, that decision there wasn't the best I've ever made, but it was also like, what other choice do I have at this point? The only way forward was to go down that gap, and it almost pinged its way glitchily through. Sometimes you've got to just hope for game doing weird things to save you. <laughs> that time, game didn't do anywhere near enough weird things to save me. But, you know, the wheel's going to freak out over there, and that's that's that. Um, yeah, well, there we go. We didn't make it this time. It was good fun, though. It was, good, it was a good Survive the Hunt. It was, it was some good chasing, some good action in that one. Just, yeah. A bit unfortunate with car positionings and, and timings for stuff. Well, the video is not quite over as of yet. You see, to make sure that you can't tell what happens from the length of the video, I'm going to stick in a little extra clip. This is an outtake from Survive the Hunt. We attempted to film while it was still snowing. Alright. No real sign of anybody... As I said at the start, visibility is more difficult here. More difficult for the aircraft particular, particularly, 
I got an ultra professional start to this morning. Burp halfway through saying stuff. I tried not to. Didn't work. Uh, what have we? What have we got? Yeah, visibility crappy for the blimp. Di more difficult for the cars. We can kind of see the. It's almost like fog mist going on. Uh, it's just yeah, you see a lot less. You also get the glare from the road sometimes as well. That can be a little bit of a pain. I spotted some gold headlights. There we go. Some gold headlights in the background. With a cargo shooting past. That, that's the first vehicle to really drive past us uh, that we've seen. We saw the blimp about. Can't see it at the moment. That's long gone. It is difficult to keep track of the blimp. That is also a hunter. I spot the red headlights going on. They've just gone off. Uh, there is another. Oh, there is a Willy's Jeep. The Winky. That is buzzing around at the moment. And I'm pretty sure there was a dump truck as well. Oh, no. It's, an, it's a barracks. It's an army truck that has clattered the side of us. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, something's gone on over there with the ruiner. I want to let the I want to let everything go, and then I can hopefully go back to blending. Well, I say blending in until I find a new car. I now do need a new car uh, because my ones had a massive crash to the door. Oh, and that's a hunter driving around in a beetle that saw the damage on the side of my vehicle. Uh, I am not going to risk... Oh, the understeer is chronic in the cavalcade. Uh, <laughs> the only good news is the beetle had as many problems as I did. <laughs> so, grip, we've got to bear in mind here, no one really has all that much in the way of grip. I'm hoping I can be really sneaky. Ah, oh, the beetle did see us go down here. God, the understeer in this is horrifically bad. This was a bad call. The cavalcade was not the way to go in terms of vehicles. It just doesn't respond to any steering inputs. Uh, it takes so long for it to do anything. Okay, this is going to be a whole different ball game. It's like everything I've learned from doing GTA all these years, you almost have to completely undo because all of a sudden, oh, it doesn't really work anymore. Brakes take so much longer to get it slowed down. The Beatles just slid straight into the wall up there. Something else is joining the chase now. That is not what I want to come oh, to see as I come barreling out of the car park. There is the little Jeep. We're going around in a bit of a circle at the moment, but that's fine. Uh, we're more just dodging cars that we see. And, oh, God, going whichever way I can turn, avoid trees a little bit, kind of. There is a there's the army truck that started all the pain for us. <laughs> I see the headlights of the, I think, is it Felon behind us? Oh, come on. We can fight back. I should hope I can outmuscle the Felon here. And indeed, we can. We can push that out of the way. I mean, that's got the lights, uh, lights off now on the gold machine. Well, that's fine. Uh, do I outrun it in a straight line? Nope. I was hoping we could kind of trick it with something, but... Oh, come on, AI. Ah, damn it. I was hoping the traffic might get in the way, cause a crash. Oh, that's not a gap I can fall down. I was really wanted to go for the gap. Oh, crashed. That's something for me. Use the advantage. Yeah, the gap was not as big as I thought it was. Very difficult to actually tell from the... Uh, oh, the, s the speed of the angle that we were at. And I didn't know if we were going to make it there or not. Uh, we have to go into... Uh, windy, twisty, nasty stuff, I suspect, here, if we're going to lose that car. I don't know if the felon's all-wheel drive or not. It might be. And the Beetle's still in the chase as well. Uh, oh, I mean, this is, <laughs> this, is, so this is a little bit of the problem. I'm hoping I can make a quick chase again. But by the felon's oversteer exuberance, I'm going to say that's probably not all-wheel drive. Um, but yeah, like the Beetle... I had hoped that by getting a jump on it, I could kind of end the chase quickly. If I wait to see if it does figure out it's me, it brings everybody that way anyway. So it was kind of worth a try. we got trouble shaking this felon at the moment. Uh, can we use some maybe faster corners? Hope it gets big oversteer and gets itself in trouble somewhere. It's not happening yet. I haven't seen if there's a blimp. They've just appeared. They were not on the floor at that one. That's... Not very nice. Oh, come on. Okay, any sort of movement is good. 
Right, well that's unhelpful, thank you game, for that. Just sudden appearing bike, 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 bike racks, bike stands, whatever you want to call them. Uh, not what we need. Okay, the jeep's gonna bounce off the door, didn't actually do very much to me. Uh, which is helpful. Oh, my turn. Did anything see us going here? Probably. Yep. Damn it. Trying to be sneaky didn't work. Uh, the, uh, it's still very icy in there, shall we say. There is not much grip in the car park. What are you doing, AI Jeep? I do not know. Can the other vehicles follow me up there as well? Not not, not all of them, and the Oracle gone for a very big spin. So it was a worthwhile endeavour heading up that, uh, that ramp. It caused a little bit of grief for some vehicles. Oh, can we get across in front of that? Now, please jump far enough. That's not quite far enough. Come on, land on something as sem uh, resembling usefulness. Oh, come on, find some traction. Go, 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 go. Uh, there is a Jeep again that does nothing. <laughs> if anything, Jeep causes more problems. I like this. Okay, we're currently, we are toying with the hunters, and that's a concern. Uh, oh, I was going to go play in traffic, and then I saw the trucks heading towards us. Figured traffic maybe not a good, such a good idea. Uh, there's a mess on the motorway, which we can maybe utilise. Something certainly got wiped out in all of that. Oh, on the brakes we go. Okay, we are going to need a better plan than the one we've got at the moment. I can give them grief, but I can't actually do much about shaking them. Uh, what are we going to do to lose them? There is the blimp. The, I don't know if the blimp is as effective in winter. It's kind of around, but it doesn't really seem to be doing a huge amount. Hmm. Now, there's a couple of... Oh, there's been a spin. I think the hearse actually wiped out its friend. And that has gotten me a little bit of a margin. But I can't do very much with it because I'm not in a good place to be doing anything. Oh, Get down here, please. Make that corner. Something missed. I think that was the beetle. Uh, listen, uh, oh, I, just, I can't get far enough away. Just as soon as it looks like we might have got far enough away. Well, we aren't, basically. We've looped around there. This is about to be problems, I think, for me, if I'm not careful. I'm going to have to get a little bit more creative. I feel I should have jumped down there. That's where I should have gone. Uh, I'm trying to give them some sort of problem, but it's not quite working yet. Uh, right. Let's go up here, shall we? Uh, I'm hoping something's going to fly up there with too much speed and get stuck. Use alleyways a little bit, somewhere where cars can make mistakes. We've still got one on us. We got rid of most of them, but there's still one vehicle being a pain in the arse. It's a felon! Uh, there's something to the... No, no, there's just normal AI cars. Uh, it's a different one is following us. I see the blimp. Uh, <laughs> we can just anticipate where it's going to go. Oh, nearly, nearly got it to work. <laughs> I could not have left that any any later than I did there. That was the utter limit of what I had in terms of grip and sort of time, etc. We are in a very, very serious amounts of trouble here. I cannot shake cars at the moment. So much for the stealthy, sneaky parts. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do here. Other than, do we just ditch... And we can ditch it in the water. We've seen that be successful in the past. Now, I don't have any brake lights does actually help me, because they don't know when I'm going to suddenly do a change of direction, but they have got much better cars than me, which is a problem. Oh, I was hoping the Oracle, the Oracle fella, whatever it is, the saloon that's chasing us gets caught on something. That's kind of what we're having to work on here. Massive understeer from us. Oh, is there something without a light? Is that a Schwarzer? Possibly... Up oh, through the trees we go. I know the gap I'm going to aim for here. Don't get too much understeer. Oh, we tapped it. That's fine. Yeah, car doesn't want to go alongside because it knows I'll just put it in a wall if it tries anything there. Uh... Oh, no turning, no turning, no turning. Okay, well, we clonk that. Do we go for the ditch by the... Ah, I can't. This car's way too close. Damn it, that's annoying. Oh! You can try and torpedo. Oh, that's bad news for me. That's really bad news for me. Uh, we thankfully have got very lucky. I think they've got a tyre, though. Oh. Okay, we might have to go to Operation Sinker Car at this rate. If that has a tyre gone... Oh, it might not be. Certainly a lot of bullets pinged off the door. Now, I was doing the ducking behind the steering wheel. It makes it more difficult for a lock-on to occur. 
and I think that might also affect your steering a little bit. Uh, I've got to be very careful here because there's not very many ways out of this particular area and I don't want to go back away there's going to be cars immediately. Oh, this is the way there are more likely to be vehicles. Uh, hello, wreck car. Cannot shake that what is it? The white felon is still back behind. We've shaken everyone else at various points in this. The blimp is above us. That's a worry for a different time, if we can worry. Oh, in a different time. We have like a big blizzard, perhaps. That would be good. Um, we could do with that going on. I don't think GTA does that particularly. It's just this sort of fog. I mean, it's oh, proving difficult to stop, although as I say that, we do get spun around. We get spun around and then immediately ping free, which is good for us. Oh, that's so many cars behind. Operation Sink a Cavalcade might have to be afoot here. If I don't go for that, I don't know how we're ever going to get away from this. Other than hope someone makes a mistake. Now, there's so many cars behind me that they actually do hinder themselves a little bit. Uh, because there's so many of them, they get in each other's way. And they're not really blocking me off from other subsequent routes because, well, they're all behind me at the moment. Uh, there is an SC. We're heading the wrong way for Operation Sinker Cavalcade. So, whoop. Uh, there's too many cars to even be doing sneaky buggers. Okay, we're really going to have to go for something now, because I don't think this is going to work. Unless, find some traction. We know what the Hummer was like. The Hummer just could not be stopped. We've rolled over everybody. And we are going and going and going and go, 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 go. Cavalcade, do not stop. Right, new plan. It's emergency stage. It's complete panic emergency everything now. Uh, we do not have another choice other than to play it as risky as possible with traffic, try and make them go in single file. We have to ditch this car. It is not quick enough and the all-wheel drive is not good enough to really save it any. How we're alive up until this point, I don't know. But we are only just where he's going to be. I mean, the best place to do it is around by the docks uh, because that's oh, more difficult to know where I'm going to get out of it. So that's where we're going to head. Uh, we've got one felon behind us. Can we get to the Elysian Isle? That's that's going to be my best bet, I think, because we can go a lot of different places from there. And it's also closest to where I currently am. Uh, where is that vehicle going to go? Is it going to boot the back of us? That's fine. Doesn't matter. It can do that all it likes. Uh, we are going to... Oh, no, I think i gone the wrong way. See, we wanted to go. It doesn't matter. doesn't matter. We've still got momentum going on here. That's kind of the crucial part, is just keep up momentum, make oh, make corners, make corners when we needed to. That one was a corner that we really needed to make. Thankfully, Cavalcade doesn't stop. Oh, Cavalcade doesn't stop. It is stuck on its side, now it will stop. No, it's going to climb over, and again, Cavalcade keeps moving. We definitely got hit in that one. That one there, oh, and we got blown up. 